Cheers, nerds, and welcome to another episode of A Toast to Beer. Joey here, along with Cameron, and uh, today we're going to be enjoying a Unity Vibration Kombucha Brew or Kombucha Beer. It's an American Wild Ale, raspberry plus hops plus kombucha. I guess. I don't know. We were looking at it before, and I think I think kombucha is the way to say it. Yeah. So I'm guessing Unity Vibration is the brewery, or maybe that's the name of the beer, or Triple Goddess, I guess. That, that's probably the brewery, right? There's like seven titles. There's right like there. six different things written on here, and I have no idea what's going on. Maybe so. it's, I'm assuming it's Triple Goddess because it's at the top, so that might be the brewing company. I'm going to say that much. It's raw, gluten-free, and vegan. Oh, that's all about me. That's that's actually interesting. I didn't notice that when I picked this one out. I'm probably going to like this one. Huh. Oh. Oh, cap's already out of my pocket. And we're back uh, after a little bit of a technical difficulties there and a little mishap with a different beer this time. Um, this one is Duchette's Fresh Squeezed IPA. So, so, uh, let's hope this one doesn't explode on me as I open it because uh, that was that was interesting. All right, we're good. Apparently, two two tries and we're good. But I don't I don't understand what happened with that last one. I didn't think I shook it up that much, but I guess I don't know enough to where it exploded. I'm trying to spill things today. I know what's going on. I give you a really big head on your beard. Oh, there's an interesting smell to this one. I think, I, if I remember correctly, it was a fruity, a, a juicy citrus and grapefruit flavor. I could definitely smell grapefruit now that you mention that. It smells really good, actually. Hoping yeah. I like this one. I usually don't like IPAs, but hopefully I'll like this one. They're usually very bitter. Ton of foam on this one. Yeah, that was my dad had poured it wrong. I can really taste grapefruit though. It's yeah, no, that's apparent. especially for how strong IPAs usually are, like bitter white. Like they're just so bitter, almost you can't really taste anything. But this one, you can really taste grapefruit in it, which is good. It's I think that's a grapefruit's a good flavor in an IPA. I think. You remember that video I showed you? Grapefruit, your man. Oh my god! <laughs> Shout out to H three H three Productions. Please, no. I didn't even want to remember that. <laughs> What's bad is that that was somewhat similar to the noise, but the actual noise is way louder and way... Really intense. Yeah, way more intense. Good uh, that was actually a good beer. I, I liked it. I really liked it. Grapefruit was really good, man. Well, for the first beer, we didn't actually get to try that one, so we're not positive on how good that one is. Um, <laughs> it was probably good. I mean, it was raspberry, I think. It, yeah. smel it smelled like it would have been good, but it kind of ended up all over the counter. Mm. Uh, this beer ended up being very good. I appreciated it. It was good. It was still bitter as an IPA usually is, yeah. but it still had a really good flavor to it. I would definitely drink more of this, that's for sure. And, um, uh, I don't know, I recommend it, for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for tuning in this time for a Toast of the Beer. Uh, if you liked, or if you enjoyed your time here, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the DNA YouTube page. Uh, you can check out all our other videos on the YouTube page as well, or check out us at uh, digitalnerdadvocates.com. 
Uh, if you have any other suggestions of beers we should be drinking or just think we should be doing something differently, let us know in the comments below. Uh, until next time, we're out.